The following is a two out of three falls match. Making our way to the ring from Jacksonville, Florida, Kelly Kelly. Matches of this caliber with this level of talent showing their skills. This is why I do what I do. She loves the reaction she receives from the WWE Universe, and I think she's going to take that energy into the match, too. The Glamazon is here. And from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Well, the Glamazon looks to be in a bad mood. It is safe to say that the Glamazon has inspired generations of superstars here in WWE. I think it's safe to say that Beth Phoenix is no longer interested in inspiring. She just wants to re-establish dominance. She's also got bigger biceps than you, Saxton. Oh, wait, I haven't measured mine lately. The Glamazon steps into the ring tonight with one thing on her mind, annihilation. And folks, this is a two out of three falls match. With that being said, instead of a one fall to a finish, this match will be decided by whoever is the first to get two falls on their opponent. This could turn into a real nail biter, guys. She manages to get control. Stop to finish it off. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Well measured. Right in the cover here. She kicks out before one. She still has a lot more in her. Sidewalk slam. And Phoenix is picking the competition apart. Beth's offense is debilitating. Yeah, she's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Oh, solid kick across the back. Corey, this type of match can be torturous. What goes into a superstar's preparation? Physical conditioning and mental focus. You can't take anything for granted when you're up a fall, down a fall, or it's tied 1-1. I think you use the rope dope technique. Let your opponent expel all their energy in the first fall, then you capitalize. You're the only dope here, Saxton. You never let your opponent hang around for the sake of getting them tired. If you can beat them, you beat them. Then here come the punches. Oh my gosh, what impact. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. in some trouble here. Oh, my gosh! Oh. Able to avoid there. Toss down. Oh, yeah, she is really showing her confidence. Running clothesline. And Phoenix is in a state of distress. Yeah, Beth has run into a roadblock. Quick sidestep by Beth. And down. Delivers a blow to the gut. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, Elbow drop. Right. Throw him back in under the ropes. Climbing to the top rope. Up high. Body cross body. Going all caution to the win. Two count. She kicks out with force. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Devastating elbow. Boom. She's pumping herself up. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring.
table. She's getting that table right where she wants it. She clearly has something to change the McFoley and Edge in WrestleMania. And we know how that turned out. Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Oh, that surprises Beth. Submission. What's gonna happen? And she lets her out of the submission. 
I don't know if it's mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. She wants to finish this. From the top. still has some fight left. She's getting something from under the ring. Oh no, a sledgehammer. Better call the paramedics right now. <laughs> oh, and Beth turns the tables. Quick exchange, reversing the two ones at one more time. She had enough of that. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Up high. Look out below. Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. This arena has come unglued. You can feel the foundation shifting with every turn in the match. She begins to stir back up. But does it look flying? She comes up empty. Oh no, now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Abdominal stretch, it's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. You can see the agony on her face. This is looking to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh oh, found it. Oh, and that buys some time. To the outside. This could get wild. And as a couple of Hall of Famers once said, it's time to get the tables. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Down in the basement with a drop kick. And Phoenix is being broken down. Yeah, Phoenix needs to rethink her strategy fast. The table set up in the corner. She's got bad intentions in mind. The powerhouse hoist a slam slam. Beth could take this one. Two. No, she kicked out. She was barely able to get that shoulder up. I cannot believe she had the wherewithal. Is there still enough left to try that maneuver again? Or is her confidence shaken? Everyone is on their feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Man, what a gut buster. The glam is on, looking to remind her opponent who's in charge here. Punishing stretch. Oh, man. Saw that coming. A striking display from the Glamazon, but she can't get too caught up in it. Ah, uh, setting them up for a Fisherman's Buster. And now she delivers her back into the ring, clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. She anticipated that one. Slips out of the way. Running clothesline. Planted with a wicked DDT. Great Scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. There are no words for the line these fans have gone through in this match. It was a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. She's pushed into the corner.
chest from Beck Phoenix. He's trying one more time. Oh, this one has to be over. Whatever's playing here can't be good. He got the shoulders down. Perseverance getting the gritty victory tonight. I strongly suggest Beth Phoenix go back and watch.